hello everyone welcome back again to my channel and this is same series of python okay so in this series in this session actually we'll learn like how we can uh, create object how we can create a class how we can inherit and that polymorphism okay so we can understand like ops concept okay in python so let's get started first so in previously we have done you know many many things if you first time visit in my my channel so go to my dotnet real world application uh, real world example and you can watch my previous all session before proceed this one okay so let's get started first like how we can create a class and that uh, uh, define the class and that uh, how we can create the object okay so and after that we'll we'll use this you know inheritance polymorphism and that class object in real world example as well so uh, in the last we'll use real world examples as well okay so let's get it start so first i will use okay so first i will i'll show you i will understand i will understand actually a what is the class definition okay so how we can create a class and how we can use that okay so very simple you can use the class and then like for example as a dog okay and in this job we can create a function okay uh, this is a definition okay in this definition you can use that initializer okay this is a constructor actually and this in constructor you can see once i tab it's automatically created and self is a default uh, parameter over there okay and but i want to pass the name and breed right so i just i have to pass this name and breed and just remove that extra things okay and then what i need to do whatever name i will get i need to add inside this constructor and in the class is a variable right so how we can do that very simple self dot you will dot use name you can just mention name and then pass it to name okay and then same thing self dot self dot if you name as a breed breed and then pass it to breed right breed okay so this is very simple okay now this is a we create a constructor but yeah now what i need to do i need to create a um, function okay so again definition and it's the behavior like whatever dogs or whatever function actually uh whatever names like whatever i'll just pass that you uh, know name that what how's they actually behavior so that will create a the function for the example but yeah i'll show you the real world example don't worry about that now now like work right work now self okay and here what i'll do just return just a very simple wolf right wolf okay wolf whatever actually just returning okay just simple is a returning or understand its perspective okay so now what i need to do how i can create this this object and i can call uh, how can create this object and then how we can call and this object property right so now next step is like once i create uh, i just create a definition of this class then how we can create a object right object creation how we can do that in here so now next part is object creation so let me create a object okay so it's very simple like for example i just store as a variable like dog one okay here like whatever class just you can pass it is to like for example body and the body and the name of the dog like see name of the dog is a body and the breed what is the breed just for example it should be whatever breed like you can just pass this for the example okay so i'll just pass it to golden okay the driver there's a breed of the dog okay then just call to another dog too okay that call again is another dog okay so let me call drug and then pass it to name like for example max and that this another breed is german right so let me 
show you here okay see just create an object okay so this is a way you can create a your class object okay so that is done then how we can call that you know name and breed everything so like property how can accessing the accessing that object properties and methods right so that part is a very important okay so let me show you how we can now get this method part and you know properties it's very simple like for example print i just I want to print as well okay so i need to interpolation so what i can do in a python very simple you can just use f and then you can just use curly bracket and then dog one dot what is the name of the dog this is the name of the dog is a is a what is the breed of the dog so dog dog one dot breed okay breed and how what is his uh, you know his his way how he say so like let me put in like he says like that okay like dog dot dog one dot work right so this is a function so see i just call the property like this way i can call the property and then i can call the function like this way okay so that's actually we we want to show you like how we can call the method object and property right so this is a one way then another again i just call this doc2 as well so simply just copy this guy okay and just change to doc2 right let me change to two let me two and let me print two right very simple okay let me run this application py and what is the name of it is a app okay it is not app actually it is op okay and then hit run see it is asking to uh muddy uh buddy is a golden he says okay i just missed something so you have to if you call to function so def definitely you have to just pass it to your parenthesis right so let me save it again let me run again now see buddy is golden retriever and he says woof max is german shaped and he's woof right so this is a simple way you can just create your class definition you can create object and you can accessing that object property and all of things right okay now comes to real world example right so now we'll create a real world example where i can use that inheritance class object and this and this right so let me comment this section this section just for understanding so that once i take a real world example you don't confuse right so that's why i always in this series i'll trying to get first in a very simple uh, uh line of uh, sample so that you can understand what is that okay now now is now i will just create uh, one real world example for example let me create a class okay and then call this animal okay and then here what i need to do i just define our function and then call to initializer and then again initializer self is self and passes to one property like name okay and just leave it to that one and here very simple again like self dot self dot name equal to name right whatever property we are passing or we just assign in this object and then what i can do I'll just create uh, another function, okay? And this function actually speak function, okay? So how is that animal speak? So that will do over here, speak, okay? And here again, just pass it to self, okay? And then terminate this function over here and then simply pass, okay? That is done, like see? class created uh, constructor created and one method is created right so now what i will do i'll just create another function okay another class and that i will inherit this class over there okay so that is call is inheritance right so for example it is just 
create a class okay class and object so this is part that okay and then what i will do i'll just do inheritance okay so let me do this inheritance over here okay so very simple again i'll just create another class okay i'll just call it lion okay and here i'll inherit the animal class okay just animal class i just inherit and then again here i just do just create this class itself as a, a constructor okay and in this constructor what i will do in this constructor again i'll just call it to whatever this you know self method okay this self method uh, just i'll just override the method actually i'll not doing anything so over here okay so what i need to do just remove this one okay i just uh, call that uh, that method like speak method right so see once i using that speaks it's automatically actually uh, calling the super speak method right so what i will do over here i'll just return whatever i want like i just inherit right inherit and just override this method okay so for example what i need to do over here let me return something our implementation in this class okay not using a uh, main implementation so let me self dot name okay and here the lion lion roars right so this is a behavior of lion so that i will just implement the lion class using the main main class so that is called as a inheritance actually so r o a r s okay so this is simple then same way i can use other thing other class as well like for example i'll give the another example okay for example i take another one like elephant right let me create a elephant elephant and again inherit okay inherit the animal class and here just use that speak method okay and just return whatever our implementation of this ele element speaks right so same the name of this element okay and then uh, the element the element how is speaking so let me pass it over here okay this is simple so this is called as a inheritance as well okay now what i done i done class create object and also done inheritance okay and use this whatever main you know super class uh, method i just use on override over here okay and now i have to use polymorphism so how we can use that polymorphism let me copy that polymorphism so that you can understand like how we can use that okay so let me over here okay see now we'll start the polymorphism so how we can do that let me create a zoo okay so i create an object uh, i just create a variable actually and in this variable what i will do i'll just store as a array okay inside the array i'll just call all the uh, classes like for example lion okay and uh, lion and the pass is the whatever the lion name so that is name is is a simba for example same way i can use the elephant okay and the elephant name is whatever uh, dumbo sumbo dumbo whatever okay so that is done so this is a way actually use that they use this uh, this is the way we can use that polymorphism like use that class and this class actually send the name and all these are name it will just trying to what will do it will call the main function and this main function will be override actually it is hiding that main concept right main implementation but it is overriding actually so this is a call actually polymorphism right so like this way uh, this way we can use the polymorphism okay and now finally what i need to do i need to just print okay so for i will use the for loop in animal okay in zoo and here i will just print here uh, animal dot 
animal dot speak right because once I get this this speak method will be there so animal dot speak okay and let me save it let me copy this name might be if I mistake something okay so let me clear okay and let me run now see Simba the lion roars and Dumbo is the elephant trumps right so see very simple uh, way to you can just create your uh, classes and object and you can inherit then you can just polymorphism and then you can just print it right so this is called oops concept okay and uh, that's all this session yeah and but yeah an upcoming session will learn more and more so till now uh, keep tuning and don't forget to subscribe like and share